so now let us start and uh, prove this exact sequence of homology groups so we will take the next piece so we have H and B to H and C and we have to show that image of J star lies in the kernel of D so we in the end we will have the equality that image of J star is precisely equal to kernel of D so first we start with the inclusion map that image of J star lies in kernel of D now how do we proceed with this so we basically have to prove that DJ star is 0 Now notice that J star is a map which acts on H and B and lands in H and C but elements of H and B are nothing but kernel of delta over image of delta therefore D delta B is 0 for, for any B which is element of H and B yeah so that is pretty much it so if delta B is 0 then uh, it is obvious that dj star is 0 yeah because what does this map d do map d is going to lift delta b to corresponding element in a yeah so if you see the lift which i will show now yeah so essentially what does map d do map d takes element of cn and then lifts it all the way to a n minus 1 via the, this injective map i and the surjective map j which is from b n to c n so you take this element c gets lifted to b this b gets transferred to delta b but we have already said this delta b is 0 the map i is injective so the map a you going to get lifted to is 0 yeah so now see how delta b equals to 0 led us to a equal to 0 so that was it so if you take element delta b equals to 0 you end up with the element a equals to 0 so image of j star is lying in the kernel of d very clear essentially all you have to say is delta b is 0 map i is injective or you could draw above you can say class B in H and B is taken to class A via map delta B which is 0 okay now we come to the reverse inclusion so again this is slightly more involved so map T acts on H and C and image of J star also lands in H and C so we have to go from class of C to class of C but we have to go via H and B yeah because it's image of J star so you start with something in the kernel of D then you have to end up in H and B and from H and B then you have to apply J star to land in H and C again so we have to have element say B minus something so as to land back in H and C yeah so this is what the starting map is is the starting map D is from H and C to H and minus 1 A the kernel of the map means C will get mapped to 0 plus some boundary because uh, boundaries are 0 in H and minus 1 A anyway so yeah so the boundary has to be of the form delta of a prime yeah so you are landing in h n minus 1 a that is corresponding to a n minus 1 so there is some a prime in a n 
which will going to get map which is going to get mapped to zero so that is the story what is p minus i a prime now that this is important we will say that p minus i a prime is precisely the element which which is a cycle yeah so why we want to say that b minus i a prime is a cycle we want to say b minus i a prime is a cycle because we want to make it belong to h and b and as i said before uh, in order to go from kernel of d to image of j star we have to go via h and b and this is the key this b minus i a prime is going to let us go there so to prove that it is a cycle and that it actually belongs to h and b so that we can make add some sense to map j we have to show that uh, it lies in the kernel of delta yeah after all elements of h and b are nothing but kernel of delta over image of delta yeah so i and delta commute but what is delta a prime delta a prime itself is zero yeah And uh, what is this map? So now we have to define J star. So we have to have map J acting on B minus I A prime giving us C. So J B minus J I A prime. What is this? J I is always zero. Yeah, this you know. And J B is C. Yeah, that we started the process with this. Yeah, we had C lifted to some element b in b n and that meant that j b is c so you know that uh, delta a prime is zero because precisely because a prime lies in the kernel of delta so this is the idea so you get this class homology class c in j star precisely because you are able to lift it to something like b minus i a prime which lies in the kernel of delta or as element of h and b so we could essentially get a map j star acting on elements of h and b and uh, to prove that b minus i a prime is actually in h and b we have to ma apply map delta to it and show it as zero So now the last part of the sequence which we want to prove is exact. Now as we have seen multiple times that homology class of C when it gets carried to homology class of A it goes via something called delta B. Yeah. So C gets lifts to B, B gets transferred to delta B, delta B lifts to A. But delta B is always zero in HN minus one B because the boundaries are zero in HN minus one B. Yeah, because after all it is kernel over boundary or cycle over boundary or kernel over image. So delta B is always zero. So this map is clearly zero. Yeah, you see that C lifts to delta B, which is zero. So there is all there is absolutely nothing to show here.
uh, but we will still write here. Yeah? So the elements of H n minus 1 be uh, precisely of the form kernel of delta over image of delta and therefore delta b is 0. And that is the end of the story. Yeah, so I have written again what we have said many times that uh, you lift the map C to B, B apply delta B to it and then delta B gets lifted to some element A and this delta B is 0 in our case. Yeah, so I am just going to again draw the diagram so that just drills in your mind. You have to almost do nothing you just have to draw this diagram and uh, then see what comes from where that's why it is called diagram chase okay now let us prove the reverse inclusion so image of D contains kernel of I star So we have to take this class A and it gets mapped to class A. Yeah? You see image of D lands in HN minus 1A and I star also acts on HN minus 1A. But we have to go via some element C in HNC. So that means if you are some element C in HNC that means you have to lie in kernel of delta that is delta C is 0. Yeah, so now let us draw the our lifting diagram again. Yeah, so this is our lifting diagram. Standard. You take C, gets mapped to B, gets mapped to delta B, gets lifted to A. Notice that in the part 2 I cannot take delta B as 0 because H and B is not entering the picture. Yeah, so the only elements which are acting are map going out from H and A and map landing in H and A. So the only thing we have here is delta C is 0. So we have to show this. The delta C is 0 because then C will be element of H and C. But what is delta C? Now delta C comes from JIA which is 0. Yeah, so you can see how why it comes from JIA now that is uh, clear because uh, uh, delta of C then it gets lifted to B which gets lifted to delta uh, which goes transfers to delta B so delta C would be essentially J of delta B but delta B comes from A so you have to put instead of delta B put I A yeah so you get J I A but J and I belong to an exact sequence and therefore JIA is 0 and that is precisely it we have been able to lift element C to element A so therefore we start with an element A which lied in the kernel of I star and we were able to land back to A via this element C which is in HNC and that is pretty much it that is the end of the story